In order for the AI to meaningfully respond to the sight sense we added in the previous video, we need to gather some information from the perception system at the moment the AI has seen something. To do that, we will use the onTargetPerceptionUpdated event to capture and store information about what the AI has perceived and how it has perceived it. We will finish up by setting a breakpoint on the event so we can step through the execution as it is triggered and observe the information that is captured. We will begin by setting up the perception event on the AI character in order to gain access to the stimulus variable that contains useful perception information for the AI to use. Begin by opening the AI underscore third person character from the content browser. Next, in the components panel in the top left hand corner, select the AI perception component. Then move to the right hand side in the details panel and locate the events rollout. Click the plus icon next to the on target perception updated event to add it to the event graph. We will start by storing the actor object reference provided by this event. We will do this because the variable will contain a reference to the actor that has been perceived by the AI character and it is something we will frequently want to access within this blueprint. Left click and drag the reference into the event graph and select promote to variable. Name this variable perceived actor. Now we will take a look at the AI stimulus structure that this event provides. Left click and drag it into the event graph and select break AI stimulus. Next, press the arrow at the bottom of the structure to reveal all of the different member fields. As you can see, there are many useful things contained within this AI stimulus structure. However, for now, let's keep it simple and just focus on the successfully sensed ball. Hopefully, in this case, the name is fairly self-explanatory. This ball returns true when something has been successfully sensed and false when something has not been successfully sensed. That is to say, it was being perceived, but is now no longer being perceived. Create a branch by holding down the B key on the keyboard and left clicking within the event graph. Connect the successfully sense ball to the condition of this new branch. Connect the execution pin from the set perceived actor node to the branch. I'll reposition the branch to make things a little easier to read. Another way to make this blueprint easier to read is to hide the outputs of the AI stimulus structure that we aren't using. We can do this by selecting the structure and moving to the details panel in the right hand side and clicking hide unconnected pins. Now we have a branch that will allow us to do different things depending on the outcome of successfully sensed. As something begins to be perceived, say for example the player character coming out of cover, this branch will return true. This branch will return false as something leaves perception, for example the player character being visible and then moving into cover. Thus, we can use this branch to determine if the AI just began to perceive something or just stopped perceiving something. Now, let's build some logic upon this new branch. We will use it to control a timer connected to an event that will clear the perceived actor variable we created. This is in order to simulate the AI losing interest in something it hasn't seen in a while. For example, in a stealth game, an AI will normally pursue the player even when it can no longer perceive them, but will eventually give up. We will start by creating the logic for the false outcome of the branch, as it is the more complex of the two. We will begin by creating the custom event that will nullify the perceived actor variable. Right click on the event graph and begin typing custom event and press enter when it appears. Name this custom event target lost. Now drag from the false execution arrow of the branch and begin typing set timer by event. Now connect the delegate pin from the target lost custom event to the delegate input of the set timer by event. We have now specified which event we wish to be triggered by this timer. Next, set a time value that will indicate when this timer will be activated. I suggest around five seconds to start with. Finally, ensure the looping value is unchecked as we only wish to trigger this event once. Now we need to configure the target lost event to nullify the perceived actor variable. While holding down Alt, move over to the My Blueprint panel and drag the perceived actor variable into the event graph. Connect the execution pin from the target lost custom event to the set node. As we are not providing a new value in this set node for the perceived actor, the variable will be nullified. I'll reposition these nodes slightly 
to leave a space to work on the true execution section of the branch. For now, we only need the true path from this branch to do one thing, and that is to cancel any active timers we may have created already in the false branch. If we don't cancel this timer, we may end up in a situation where the target lost event fires even though the target is still currently being perceived, which obviously is not desirable. We can do this by using a clear and invalidate timer by handle function. Drag out from the true execution pin of the branch and begin typing clear and invalidate timer by handle. As the function name suggests, this function will need us to provide a timer handle in order to invalidate it. Luckily for us, the set timer by event includes this as a return value. Drag out from this return value in the set timer by event and select promote to variable. Name this target lost timer. Now we need to get this target lost timer handle and provide it to the clear and invalidate timer by handle function. We can do this by holding down control and selecting the target lost timer in the my blueprint panel and dragging it into the event graph. We can then connect the target lost timer handle to the handle input of the function. The only thing left to do is press F7 or press the compile button on the toolbar to ensure there are no errors. In this video, we made our first use of the perception system. We added an on target perception updated event to the AI character and used the actor and stimuli information it provided to decide what the AI had just perceived. We used information from the stimuli structure to decide if the perceived actor had just entered the AI's perception or it had just exited the AI's perception. We used the timer to make sure that we only store information about this perceived actor when it is relevant and made the assumption that if we have not seen the actor for five seconds, the AI is no longer interested and the variable is nullified.